Hello, I'm Peter Grant, Superintendent of Schools, Owatonna Public Schools, and today I want to talk about Grandparents for Education. Uh, my first introduction to Grandparents for Education was actually last year when I was the interim principal at Owatonna Junior High. And I noticed as I started in mid-year that there were elderly parents, grandparents, uh, working with our students, and I really didn't know what that was all about. So I just happened to stop and talk to one of them, and lo and behold, I found out that there's a large group of grandparents in our community that visit our schools every single day to help our kids with reading and math. And I thought that was really pretty neat. Well then, shortly after that, I began to understand that this is district-wide. And now as superintendent of schools, as I have visited our schools, I see grandparents at our buildings every single day helping our kids. Hi, my name is Amy Baker, and I have been working with Grandparents for Education through volunteer coordinating with Willow Creek and the junior high and the high school. And Grandparents for Education has been a wonderful resource when we are calling and in need of people to come in and help with reading, uh, help with special projects in some of the classes that are taking place at the high school level uh, for the plays and a variety of activities that are going on. Grandparents for Education have been, again, an amazing resource for the volunteer coordinators as well as teachers uh, to connect with and, and have volunteers to come in and really assist and help with those needs. Uh, my name is Jason Markson. I'm the current principal at Lincoln Elementary. And I'm Julie Sullivan, the principal at Wilson Elementary. The grandparents are involved in a lot of different ways. We do a lot of testing and so forth. We need support um, in different ways um, with how we're monitoring students and, uh, and the back and forth logistics of that, and they help with this. Um, reading, of course, is extremely important, and we have help with being able to break down and differentiate the smaller groups and even one-on-one -on -one situations, and uh, grandparents do a great job with with that as well. And, uh, and then anytime we call for just additional help, we need somebody to help on our leadership day. We need grandparents to be kind of pseudo parents for kids whose parents can't make it and they show up for things like that. If we have some family nights and we need extra help uh, monitoring behavior or the carnival, they have shown up to help us with that as well. This could not be a better solution for a couple of reasons. One, it brings more adults into our school to help our kids. And the more adults we have with our kids, the better our chances are of having successful students. Two, what better way than to have young kids be with grandparents? Um, they can kind of, you know, get that feeling that there's another person in their life that cares about them, there's another person that wants to help them, and everybody loves their grandparent. There couldn't be a better situation than to have someone who's there and their only reason to be there is to help you. So on behalf of the Grandparents for Education in Owatonna, I would strongly support their efforts to help our students and our teachers so our students can perform better. Thank you. Well, I'm Vivian Rubador and I have been with the Grandparents for Education for three years now and uh, I've been here at the high school three years. Uh, the high school wanted somebody that would come every day and some of the grandparents didn't want to commit to every day, which is, is a good job, but it's a good job. I really enjoy it. And uh, I have learned a lot from these kids, and school is way different from when I went to school. <laughs> so, but they have to be really motivated down here, and uh, they really work hard at the goals they've got in their life. Well, one very good thing about joining the Grandparents for Education, it's a very flexible program. You have your choice of schools, whether it be high school, junior high, uh, any of the elementary schools, and you can pick what subject or what thing you would like to help people with or help the kids with. There's many, many different uh, phases that you can help with reading or uh, math or just about anything that the student needs. And so and you can work one hour a day or one hour a week. There's no time limit that you need to put in and it's really a good flexible program so I sure advise people to at least try it out and see what it's like. Hi, my name is Fred Ventura and I'm one of the volunteers for Grandparents for Education. I've been uh, volunteering with Grandparents for Education for the last four years. Um, currently 
I am volunteering at the Old Town High School, and I'm working right now with a young lady who's in the 10th grade, and we're reading, and we're doing comprehension, and we're learning everything that's involved to get her to the level of reading that she needs to be at. Uh, the program we're working at at the Old Town High School is called the Tate Program, which is a teen and teenagers that we work with them and we help them with reading and this is a specialized program here and I believe this is our first year of doing this so this is really an exploratory thing we're doing and we're all hoping that this will work out and we'll get to work with more students as time goes on. Um, right now we have one or two students we're working with and um, possibly three students so um, this is a great program and it gives them the opportunity to learn and it gives us the opportunity to expand their knowledge base. I'm Teresa Lander and I'm a Owatonna Grandparents for Education member. I have been volunteering in the school district since my kids were probably in grade school, but the last four years with Grandparents for Education, primarily at Wilson School. Uh, I love the little kids. I, I think they, they just have so much energy and they're so trusting and so open. That, um, so I just tend to stay at Wilson. I, for one, I'm, I'm not working anymore, so it, it's great to have something like this to look forward to. There are days, you know, I think all of us just kind of lounge around and don't feel like doing much. And that's great sometimes, but there came a point in my life where I needed to get out and do things. So for those that really need a hobby, and need, need something to just take their mind off of what else they're doing or to enrich themselves or just to plain have fun. Um, you can pretty much pick and choose what you need to do. Um, I know that some of the members have gone on trips with, with different kids, with the options kids in the high school, um, different chaperoning. You can work math and, and reading and make do plays and just about anything you want, whatever, whatever you want. And that's the best part of it besides the fact that you just have these kids look at you with these big eyes and these fantastic smiles and, and you know you've made a difference. That's, that's the best part. Hi, I'm Sandra Von Arb. And I'm Ron Von Arb. And between the two of us, we started Grandparents for Education. Uh, one of the school board members back in 2008 asked us if we could get some members into the school to volunteer. So that's how Grandparents for Education got started. Well, this year was fourth year in the school. And we're working on going for a long, long time. Most of our volunteers they get so much out of it, in a short time they volunteer for more. We never even looked at that aspect when we started Grandparents for Education, but the volunteers, some of them tell us they get more than they give. So that's a side benefit that's really great. You've been listening to a lot of people talk about Grandparents for Education, and you know that first day I didn't know if we were going to make it or not, but we did. We are at the point now where we could use more members. Last October, November, we had over 200 requests from the schools. We need more members to go into the schools and help our students. We have the slogan, and that is just to have a heart to help a child. And uh, you can visit our website at www.grandparentsforeducation.net. You can call me, 451-8661, um, and we'll gladly send you out information about Grandparents for Education, and we'll send you out an application blank. That's a good organization to belong to, so we'd love to have you. Thank you.